So today I'm going to do a 3-in-1 video about my three working cuckoo clocks. There are two of them that aren't working that I'm going to show later. So here are a German Hubert Herr cuckoo clock, a Romanian Victoria Arad cuckoo clock, and a Russian Maya cuckoo clock. I'll show them individually and then all the three movements will be revealed at the end of the video. So let's start. Just as I've said earlier, this is a Hubert Herr cuckoo clock made in Germany in the late 1990s and early 2000s. It has the Black Forest Cuckoo Clock Association logo here from the early 2000s. There also is a lever that turns off the striking, just like this. And if it's pulled back up, it will strike again. It has a removable crown, like this. And it has a high-pitched cuckoo noise and a very, very small coil gong on the back. It's a very small clock, but I actually love it. And I got it for a cheap price also. Okay, this is uh, the Romanian cuckoo clock. It's very, very cheaply made with plastic decorations, plastic dial, plastic pendulum bob. And you can see it's actually in the most horrible shape. But that's because of me, because this clock has been in my collection for about 8 years and 6 out of that 8 years were spent in my attic because I didn't know it was in my attic, my parents have put it in there and they gave me the clock like 3 months ago and I fixed it and now it's working again, and I'm glad because I have very, very long related memories of this. And uh, the reason it's in this horrible shape is because I have put it onto my desk and I pulled the chains and it fell off and the decorations broke. And the bellows broke because the bellows are plastic and now it doesn't have the bellows anymore inside. Also, the door is broken because it was plastic and the hinges broke. It has a Broco escapement that I'm going to show when the movement is opened. And you can see this part is simply loose in there, but it's held in very tightly between these two that are fixed with some screws onto the front board. It only strikes on a coiled gong because, as I said earlier, the bellows are broken. And that quail gong is very rusty and it doesn't make just the most beautiful sound. And you might see there the pallets moving. But you can't see anything actually. So I'm going to show it striking. Inside it has a Victoria Arad movement, the only striking movement that this company has produced. Where, uh, well, actually, there is another one uh, that is basically the same movement but without the bellow lifting wires. So, yeah. And uh, it's not in the best shape. And also, Arad is a city in Romania where this company used to make clocks, because now it doesn't make clocks anymore. So let's move on to the next one. So, this is the Mayak Cuckoo Clock, the last of them. This is the first actual mechanical clock that I got. I got it from my father when I was six for my birthday. And it stood around six years, oh my god, not six years, four years in my cabinet, non-working 
I was looking for spare parts for it. I needed a tension spring. And actually I took that from one of my non-working cuckoo clocks that's now on the floor. And now it runs. This clock was supposed to have its original weight on the time side, but it won't run with that. The movement might need an oiling. But I can't oil it because my oil is full of black gunk because I have accidentally contaminated it. So I need new oil. This is a older design with brass plates and the count wheel strike movement and a gong. Newer designs have steel plated movements, no gongs and rack and snail striking. Now I'm going to show it in action. Now it's going to strike 12. Also something worth noting is that this pendulum has a hand knot which makes an actual pain to regulate because the small movement of the pendulum makes the knot screw the other way and makes the clock run slower and it eventually falls with the pendulum bob. It happened once while the clock was in testing I have put the knot on a lower level and I think about five days later the pendulum bob fell off while I was doing my homework which scared the hell out of me because it was a very loud noise but it doesn't matter because now it works and this is it I'm going to show the movements and see what's actually inside of these okay here is the rear view of the clocks as you might see, two of them have backboards and one has a hinged back that opens from this side. It has some clips holding it, but you can't really see them. And here is the Hubert Herr cuckoo clock. On the back it says made in Germany. You can't really see that. Wait, let me get the torch, see if it makes any better. Mm. Not really. And here is a small coiled gong with the hammer. And now I'm going to open the back. This is tricky. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Okay, that is tricky to do with one hand, so I had to stop the recording, but this is the small movement. It's smaller than my hand. It has two plastic bellows and you can see inside it says Hubert Herr somewhere in there one of those markings if it would focus please yeah it says unadjusted no jewels Hubert Herr Germany but it's covered by a bellow Hold on, this should be, yes, Triberg, Hubert Herr, Germany. Very interesting and a small clock. Okay, here is the back of the Romanian cuckoo clock. It also has a window for the gong, but the hammer is in the lifting position, so all I can do is this. It does not want to sound, unfortunately. And here's the movement, but here's the gong. If I put it like this and sound it, nothing happens. You see, it's very rusty. And I need to clean it if I can. But here's the movement. It's a Victoria Arad movement, as I said. You can see there, I think it's a Broco escapement or a Broco escapement with symmetrical palettes. And if there is any detail wrong in my videos, please, please correct me in the comments. 
because I'm not just the most experimented clock enthusiast. And now, here, you might see it better. It would focus properly. Yeah, take a look at that. When I'm going to do a video about my Romanian single train cuckoo clock, Ugh, not cuckoo clock, it's a well clock, but uh, I, I'm going to show a better look at that escapement. And here's the strike side with rack and snail striking, and the bellows are not in. And this is pretty much all about this one. And last but not least, this is the Mayak Cuckoo Clock. And I'm going to put the torch so you can see what I meant. You see there are some clips holding the back shot. And if I turn them like this, the back opens. Just like that. This is the gong. This is the most loud gong in a Cuckoo Clock that I have. It sounds really nice. And the movement is in excellent condition. It has a recoil escapement. The bellows are original and they look very, very good. And you can see there's a count wheel back there. And I can lift it horizontally, almost horizontally, and put the light so you can see it better. This bellow sounds good only if it's very slowly lifted. But it doesn't matter, it's alright. And now I'm going to show uh, my broken cuckoo clocks. And you will see the front of this movement in my second Mayak cuckoo clock. Which is now waiting servicing and the new parts. Because as I said I took the tension spring from the motion works. From that one to put it in this one. Okay, here is my broken German unmarked cuckoo clock. You can see that my repair skills are the best in the galaxy using the most undisturbing repair techniques because I have accidentally broken the minute hand. It doesn't matter. But it's completely unmarked and it's not running properly, it stops randomly, it doesn't have any weights to it or a pendulum, it came just like this and it has the broken bellow, the low note bellow is broken. I don't know who made it or how to age it, but I know for sure it's missing its top part that should have had. And now I'm going to flip it around. It says FH. And I don't think this means Philippe Haas. Because Philippe Haas is written with the PH. And if someone knows, please tell me. But when I first got it, it looked like it was screaming Welby right in my face. But I don't know. This is the gong. And as you might see, uh, again, my repair skills are unimaginable. This bellow is working. But this one it does not. And the movement is not bad. It works fine. But it stops randomly. I don't know why. I oiled it before contaminating my oil but now it just doesn't want to run properly I have tested it for several hours and I just don't know what's wrong with it but I'm going to try and fix it and if I cannot I'm going to sell it so buy another clock and maybe the next clock that I'm going to buy will be Something much older than anything I got. But it doesn't matter now. Because I still need to focus on my broken clocks.
and now underneath my staircase this is the broken mayak cuckoo clock with some coarse clocks and let's better not talk about this guy and inside here underneath this this is the movement it has uh, a semi broken bellow the high note bellow and here you can see it's the movement from the front you have seen the back this is the front and as you might see if i get these out there is no tension spring underneath the intermediate wheel it should have had a tension spring but i took it because the other one from the maya cuckoo clock that is working was missing because i needed it for something else i think when i was younger i don't remember actually and this is the dial when i was younger i painted it and it still has some color on it and it's fine it's down here waiting for servicing as well and for a pendulum because i have the weights but i don't have the pendulum okay i hope you've enjoyed this video and i shall see you in the next one and by the way all of these are one day cuckoo clocks and that broken clock movement that was lying next to the broken maya cuckoo clock was a Friedrich Mautesch Wenningen.